What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel. Um, I've pulled another model out of the out of the top of the cupboard and I thought I would I would share it with you guys and I'm sure a lot of you know this kit and have seen it. Um, for any of you that have built it, please make sure that you let me know about anything that needs to be done that you did or didn't do. Um, I picked this up from my local hobby shop, Denkert Hobbies, and um, yeah, it's a 124 scale Porsche 911 GT2, VBS wheels, um, it's really, really cool, I just really dig these cars, and this is personally my favourite vehicle, so I'm going to choose to do it in, in a yellow, but not the TS-47, I'm going to do it in Lemon Yellow by Tamir and hopefully with a white base and um, and a primer, this, this colour should actually work quite nicely on this car. Um, so let's just open it up and see what all is inside and hopefully it's all here. Um, it's obviously instructions, a um, whole bunch of stuff, clear parts, this, volume wheels. To me, one of the biggest standout parts of this whole kit is the obvious wide body. And I um, just want to get it out of the package, yeah? I mean, that is personally one of the coolest one of the coolest shelves there are and even in even in just plastic gauze it looks like it's going fast so I'm going to try and tackle this build a little bit differently where of course this would be a track build normally um, but I'm going to try and and, and do a road, a road version, kind of, it is a track to, road to track car, but I'm going to try and keep it as road as possible, so I'm going to, I'm going to do it simple, I'm going to do it clean, and I'm going to do a yellow and black scheme, um, everything will be airbrushed, I'm not going to do too much body work to the car, um, just to just to keep it simple, you know. Um, I'll definitely do the black. I'll definitely, um, you know, scrub these panels a little bit deeper. But other than that, I'm not going to do too much to it because I want it to be curbside, but I want it to be clean. And unfortunately, I overcomplicate everything, and um, my models end up being all over the place and then I lose interest and whatever, whatever. So this one is going to be kept clean. I'm definitely going to do the roll cage, the yellow. I think that'll be cool. Um, I'm going to keep everything else pretty much simple and functional. Um, and I am going to try and do it as detailed as possible without being too crazy about it. So um, I'll obviously drill center holes there for where the little um, mirror caps go um, so they locate it properly. And you know, all in all, I'm just gonna keep it really, really clean because I don't believe that these cars are very complicated, even though they are one of the most over-engineered vehicles there are. Um, I think they're quite simple. So, yeah, I have taken the wheels off the screws, and they're so cool. I mean, even if I just mock this up quickly, um, they narrow and wide. Um, but if I just take this out for a moment and do that. I mean, they just really look cool on 
this car. So I really, really do dig them. I think I might do a black, a black BBS with some gold, gold little, those little nuts, gold. Um, other than that, I might just keep them as is. Um, but yeah, simple, simple, simple. And I thought what I'd do today was just start piecing things together to some degree and just seeing what fits where because I want to paint everything that's going to go yellow, yellow, and then paint everything that's going to go black, black. So in my experience, um, I prefer I prefer to to paint the black here um, uh, no sorry I prefer to paint the body and then mask these off and paint the black um, but I want to do it all in airbrush so um, you know it's going to be tricky. I think it's, I think it's not the easiest car to paint, but it will be cool. Um, so let's see what these instructions are telling us we need to do. Um, Obviously, it's explaining what's body color, what's not body color. Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of detail in this car. Like, even though you want to do it simple and clean, it's um, yeah, it's detailed, man. So I'm literally looking at this going, okay, okay, it's not that bad. I mean, there's not a lot of colors used. Um, not that I'm going to use those colors, but um, yeah, I'm going to want to try and make it as realistic as possible. Um, question is, underbody. What do I do here? Am I body coloring this? Am I blacking it? Um, yeah, you guys let me know there because if I'm doing a roll cage, which I'm assuming slots into these little, I mean, it's got gussets and everything that go in there, but these little locators slot into there. I'm probably going to have to do this body yellow. Um, so put this together, um, paint everything. And then assemble around it. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's what I would do. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And um, it's going to be this lemon yellow, and then cleared with TS13, if I'm not mistaken, by Tamir. So. I'm going to try and keep it all to me. Um, I'm going to do a mixture of acrylics and, and um, acrylics and enamel, and I will clear the parts that are a mixture um, with, the, with the old clad ultra glow, I think it's called, or so that will that's okay with it's a water base so apparently it's it's, it's really good with enamels and um, acrylic so it will dry hard and it will it will do leave a quality finish so that to me is obviously the most important thing because I wouldn't I wouldn't mind making this build show quality so yeah. Um, 
Other than this, I've had a pretty busy week. Um, I've had a pretty busy week work-wise. Um, I work in the vehicle industry. I'm a detailer by trade. So for us, we go through phases just as any other industry does. And it, it gets out of hand sometimes, you know. Um, and yeah, the last two, three weeks have just been catch up, catch up, catch up. And guys don't understand that things actually take time. Um, and dealing with salesmen is like dealing with, yeah, they're, they're a very unique breed of human being. And so I believe they should stay that way. Um, I'm really, really liking this so far. So even though I'm looking at these um, instructions and I'm going, oh crap, because it's, it's not the most detailed, it's just all over the place. And I don't really, you see, I'm, I'm at a phase in my model building career, so to speak, where I don't really know where to start, but I kind of know where I want to finish. And that's hard for me because I look at it and I go, oh man, um, I want to put this and this together. But then there's so much detail in between those things that you can't put them all together and then glue them and then paint them because you won't get the detail. But you also can't paint them individually and glue them together because they won't fit. So looking at things and summing them up in my eyes is just um, oh, it's so difficult for me um i know a lot of you guys have it down um and that's just experience so i'm not pretending that i know more than i do because i don't so please guys you know um i'm not saying be kind to me i'm saying make suggestions so i can especially on a kit like this i mean if you've done this and you say, hey, Alex, doors should go on. Um, put the front suspension together and paint it all black and detail it up from there. And then that's what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm just like... Do I do I prime this as a, as a complete tree? Like, I've, I've never done a model like that. And... Um, I see guys doing it and I'm like, shit, does, is that all going to fit together? Is that, is that the way it should be done? Um, so what, what do you guys do? I mean, what is your first step? Do you, do you prime this tree? Um, would you prime the tree and remove pieces off and, and start fitting and sanding? Or would you remove trim, start fitting together, uh, sanding, start gluing little things together and then paint. Um, cause that's kind of how I would do it. But my models don't seem to be going together so well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's off putting. It's off putting when you, you sitting at this and you don't want to remove anything, but you, you want you want a quality product, so where do I start? Do I start with a, a nice thin prime and then start removing things and sanding things? Um, look, I know I know what to do with the body. I'm, I'm, I'm okay there. Um, you know, take off any mold lines and things. That's cool, that's not a biggie. But this, this has got me, this has got me stumped these little pieces so yeah guys let me know what I need to do here because it's freaking confusing and uh, I feel out of depth and I feel like I'm missing something that everyone else is getting so yeah let me know about that um, also the detail on this piece these pieces are Oh, to me a quality which is pretty hard to beat actually I mean even the mold is beautiful 
this little sodithog. And I believe this vehicle Oh, this vehicle is super cool. So, I don't want to mess this up, guys. So, I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm going to read what goes together, what goes where. But I wait to hear comments and I wait to hear what you guys have to tell me about what I should do. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely going banana yellow. Um, because I think that'll be cool. Uh, or lemon yellow. Beautiful colour. Um, I'll obviously do a prime white acrylic and then go with this. And then I'll do a TS13 and a polish over, which will be cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm just really, really stressed out about everything else going together. So I'm not going to start removing things and trimming and because that's what I always do and it just doesn't seem to always go to plan. So guys, let me know. Thanks again for watching and look, this is my, this is me putting myself out there and telling you guys I don't really know what I'm doing. So help me out, hit me up, point me in the direction that I need to be pointed because if this takes me six months to build it properly, then I'll I'll do it properly. Um, I'm not I'm not I'm not rushing it. I mean, I've got other models that I can work on in the meantime. But I want to make sure that this car's done properly, and I can display it for years, and it's going to hold up, and it's going to fit together properly, and it's going to be a quality build. So, yeah, I might as soon as I got suggestions on what to do, I will. Um, I'll start cutting this up and start working on this but guys I need your suggestions I can't do this without you and I'm really really at, at like a bit of a stuck point here so I'm going to read over this finish my beer carry on with my Wednesday and yeah I hope to hear from anyone pretty soon and anyone who can shout out shout me out hit me up you know, even if you DM me, you know, drop me a comment telling me I'm a fool. Please don't be, don't be shy. Don't be, don't hesitate. I need to know. I want to start building models properly because I believe that, um, yeah, it's just something that I'm super, super passionate about and I love car models, but it's like you don't start in the right places and I always feel like I'm starting wrong and it's that's not giving me the best the best outcome so i'm gonna handle this like it's a it's a baby you know and i don't have babies so i need some suggestion guys so yeah thanks again for watching and i know it's a bit of a long video and i didn't really do anything i just drank beer and talked shit but i need to know so hit me up let me know and have a great Wednesday.